Hey, welcome back to Cool Kids Art, and for this video, let's draw Cagney Carnation in her final phase in Cuphead. So let's get started with a quick sketch, and then I will show you line by line on how you can draw this. All right, so let's draw this, and to begin, we're gonna draw her brow first, and it's actually gonna be pretty simple. Just gonna be let's draw like a kind of U shape, and then from there, we're gonna draw. Just give it some thickness, so we're just gonna draw the same shape, a little bit wider on the top. We'll close that off. Okay, and then from there we're gonna draw uh, her eye first. So right in the middle, we're gonna draw one big shape here. Okay, so a very smooth curve. And then from there, we're gonna draw her nose, and we're gonna just come out. So almost the same distance as that, okay? So just go out that far. And then we're gonna come back in, right back into her eye. Okay, and then from there we're gonna draw her other eye, and this is actually gonna be part of her face, which is just a circle. Okay, so once we have that, now we can draw, let's finish up the inside of the eye, so circle. And right here, another circle right here. Okay, and then in the, in the middle, draw a little circle, smaller circle, and then just draw a little two lines like that. Okay, and then from there, I'm gonna shade in the eyeball here. So now you can see that as a highlight on the eye. So from there, now we're gonna draw her mouth. So just come right here, just make one big curve like this, okay? And then now just kind of follow the um, this curvature right here as if you're drawing a circle. So we're just gonna follow it through. And you can sketch it out with pencil first because these kind of circle shapes sometimes are pretty hard to draw. Okay, so just curve it in. And now we can finish it up just imagine this circle, so we're just gonna go, keep going. And we're just gonna round it back right there. Okay? And now we can draw her teeth, so this one's fairly easy. So just start from here, right underneath the eye. We're gonna draw two little curves like this. And then now we're just gonna zigzag it back and forth. Okay, and then this one, it's gonna go up. Give a little space, come down, and a little bit of crease on the face. Okay, so now that we have her face, uh, we have to draw the petal. So for this one, just come up right here, just make a little point, and on this one, another point here, and then right on the mouth, right here, underneath one of the teeth right there, and then right on the eye right here, just make a little point. So those will just be guidelines so we know where the petal is gonna start. So we're gonna start with this one right here. So we're gonna go straight up, go to curb. Now for this one, we're gonna come back and hit this point. So we're gonna pinch it in. It's gonna bulge out a little bit and then now we're gonna curve it back in there. So then for this one, we're gonna go out from here. And now we're gonna curve it all the way back here. We can actually start on this side if you want. Okay, so that's two, and then we're gonna draw the top one. So this one is gonna go the highest. Let's go all the way up, and then we're gonna come back down and just kind of meet up with this petal here. Okay, and then on the other one, so we're gonna go this one right here. So we're just gonna make one big curve. And then now we're gonna come back down and we're just gonna hit that petal right there. Okay, and then for this one here, we're just gonna curve it like this. And now we're gonna curve it and just, just kind of go right back into her nose. I'm gonna stop it right at her nose right there. So then from there we can draw in, let's see some of the, the petal, there's some detail. So, so just put, find a point right there in the middle. And then we're just gonna curve it in. Just kind of taper it along the edges. Same thing here. Same thing here, just make a little point. 
Now just follow the curvature and just kind of tape it right onto the side. Okay, right here. All right, so I know there's one more pedal, but we need to draw the body first. So moving down, we're gonna draw our body now. So right here, right underneath her teeth. So we just gonna draw one curve like this, and this is gonna be her body. Okay, and then now we're gonna draw her arm on this side first. So from here, we're gonna go curve. And now for the other side, so we're gonna curve it, just kind of follow the same curvature. Okay, and it's going, this is her full arm and it's gonna go into the third. So just draw a little bit of a curve like that. Just looks like it's going into the third, right? And then there's gonna be some detail here. It's like two-tone. So in the, in the arm, just kind of draw another curve and just kind of give it a little bit of waviness to it. Okay, so now on the other side, we're gonna draw her other arm. So we're gonna come out curve it and now we can give it some thickness here same thing I'm gonna widen it out at the base and then we're gonna make it look like it's going into the ground just a little bit more it looks like it's digging into the ground right and then again the little two-tone okay and then for the rest now the rest of the body is easy right so we're just gonna go down and just gonna end right there. So the body is going into the ground too, right? So we're gonna have to draw these little going into the dirt. All right, and then again the two tones. So we're gonna draw another curve like this. And looks like there's gonna be some creasing on the shoulder right here as well. Okay, so now we can draw, let's see, there's some little spikes. So there's gonna be one here. So let's draw an angle, just round it out. And we'll draw another one here. And then an arm here, we'll draw one more. And then in here, there's gonna be another one. Okay, and then from there, we need to draw the little leaves, right? So right here, just curve, and then curve, and then just give it a center line. And then there's another one right here in the back, but we can't see it, but we're going to see part of it. Curve it back in and then just give it a little line. And then now we can finally finish the other pedal. So this is going to be right here and just kind of curve it into the arm. And there's going to be like smaller um, vines and stuff. So I'll just draw one here and I'll make it a little bit thicker so that we don't get confused. That's so it looks like vines and not like another line on the body or something. So we're just gonna curve, curve, and this one's gonna go behind and into the ground. And that's it for this Cagney Carnation in the final phase in Cuphead. Hope you guys like the way it turned out, and if you do, please check out my other videos, and I will see you next time.